We need to do better. That's the message from a state official after a stretch of deadly crashes in the past 11 days. Manolo Morales has more. The latest incident happened Monday evening when a 46-year-old man stopped with car trouble on the shoulder of the H1 freeway. HPD says another car rear-ended the parked car, which then struck the man who died at the hospital. Nine people died on our highway systems in an 11-day stretch. And that's got to stop. I mean, six in-vehicle occupants, two bicyclists, one pedestrian, all passed on our system. Last week, Thursday, Ben and Dolores Lum were also killed on the H1 freeway. Their son, David, recalls the heartbreak. I had a few minutes of her last living moments here to, to spend with her, and um, it's so hard. Sniffen says lives are cut short because of inattentiveness on the highways. He says those who get behind the wheel should only be focused on driving safely. Because in reality, if you look at all the numbers, the most dangerous thing you do in your day will be when you get in your car. And it gets even worse when we don't pay attention to what we're doing. He points out that it is especially important to be focused and attentive when driving on the freeway. Somebody lost control of their car for just a couple of seconds, but in the time frame that you're driving at 55 to 65 miles an hour on the freeway, you lose control in a couple of seconds and you could be hitting somebody immediately. Sniffen adds that the state was in a good place prior to that deadly stretch. There was about a month with no fatalities and for the year there's now 55 deaths on the road compared to 75 at this time last year. But he says the recent deadly stretch is troubling. We just got to be better. We got to be better about making sure we take care of ourselves and everybody else and everybody can get to their destination. Maybe two minutes slower, but everybody safely. Be cautious, be safe, and um, respect the safeties of others. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.